Hey guys, Michael at iBlock. Today we're going to talk about bump stop trimming and why we recommend trimming your bump stops for some of our Pro Kit and Sportline applications. We've got our sample shock here. You can see we currently have about two inches of available travel to the bump stop. Now let's say you purchased our Pro Kit for this example and it lowered it one inch. So we're going to lower this an inch and you're right around there. So now we have an inch of available travel. Now if you left that and you didn't trim the bump stop or replace it, you're going to have a little bit less travel until the contact with the bump stop and this could decrease your ride quality, increasing the harshness over little bumps or even potholes. So what we want to do in this application is go ahead and cut about an inch off. So you can see that here, pretty easy to cut. These are foam, so you just want to cut that off. Each application is going to vary, so make sure you check your instructions. And then we're going to replace this so you can see that we gain that travel back. So now we've got our swapped out trimmed bump stop installed on this sample shock. You can see here's the inch that we cut off there and we can show the original bump stop for comparison. You can see how much travel we gain back until you contact the bump stop. And then we can go ahead and double check that. So we had an inch before and now we have about two inches. So we gained another inch back to our contact for our bump stop and that's going to result in a better ride quality when lowered. You'll notice some of our kits include new bump stops and some of them call out a trim like we're demonstrating here. And the reason for this is because of the OEM bump stop. Sometimes when trimmed, the curve can be too steep and result in undesirable ride quality characteristics, bringing in the rate too soon and too quick. So in this case, to alleviate that, we will include a new bump stop that's more progressive and results in a better ride quality. If you have any further questions about bump stop trims, replacing your bump stops, or any of our Pro Kit or Sportline lowering kits, leave a comment below or give us a ring.